Right then, this is a walk around video and this is for a Honda Civic 2.2 ES diesel. You can see here finished in silver with these lovely optional 18 inch alloys fitted to the car from new. Uh, just 73,000 miles on this particular car and it's a really very, very nice example. Um, come around the cut front of the car first for you. The lights and lenses are completely clear, intact, there's no cracks or condensation in those at all. The front of the car is very, very clean indeed. You have to look very hard to find a sort of stone chip. There will be the odd one or two very, very minor ones, but nothing to write home about. Then to come down, sorry, that's just a leaf by the way, so I don't think there's anything more than that. Um, come down the near side of the car first, really smooth in the panels. So let's say it's a lovely, lovely looking car. Continue down, but it says we get very well, all looks you know nice and original as well. To come back on the angle again just to show you the panels and the flanks there. It's a very clean, I can't see any indentations at all. And then coming around the back again, very, very clean and tidy. And around to the offside, driver side of the car. Again, offside panels as with the near side. Pretty much mirror smooth on those panels, can't see any indentations at all. And just to continue along. As I always say in the videos, there will be the odd little mark on the car, especially if a car this age and mileage, which I've either missed or the car, um, camera hasn't picked up, so please do bear that in mind. Uh, but this is a really lovely example, it really is. Coming into the back of the car, they have absolutely huge boots on these Civics. Obviously you get the 60-40 fold on the rear seats um, and that boot uh, floor can be dropped down to um, allow an extra 8 inches of uh, boot depth there as well. It's coming into the back of the car now, rear doors open virtually at 90 degrees which give you great access, especially when you've got the um, rear seats raised like this to, which is part of this brilliant magic seat affair. Uh, it's just so well done. It's in lovely condition back here as well. Drop the seats down, literally just pull them up like that, drop them down. It's that simple. With the seats down, you can see just how nice and clean and tidy it is back here. Uh, all the seat fabric's in lovely condition. And I'm not cheating, the uh, leg room is amazing in these cars. And I've got those uh, front seats set for me and I'm over six foot tall. So coming to the front passenger side now. All the little recesses of the door cards, absolutely lovely as they are, and all the four door cards. Footwell area is lovely and clean and tidy. The front passenger seat there has been given very, very little use at all. Driver's side now, again, all very, very clean and tidy. And the driver's seat, again, in very, very good condition. So sat inside the car now engines running into this section of the video so you can see the dashboard actually illuminated and it's a lovely dashboard it really really is it's kept in absolutely super condition too if i just come up here hopefully not snag the wire hopefully you can see in there 73,524 miles and as you can see with the engine uh, revving away there are no warning lights on the dashboard at all and that's the view you get of this absolutely fantastic dashboard. Um, when you set your driving position, what you should do is aim to do while I've got the camera here, uh, steering wheel rim slap bang between the top of the rev counter and the speedo itself. Uh, but there's not another view that you get as a driver in this, this particular sector of the market. I think this is a just genius, it really is. Sorry, almost forgot, there you are. Rear parking camera showing as well, all working absolutely perfectly. So finally, just to come under this absolutely beautifully presented engine bay by Honda. Uh, fantastic engines these, they're absolutely superb. Cam chain driven, no cam belts on them at all, so nothing to worry about in that respect. What will follow this video will be a road test of this very car. Right then, this is a quick road test video, and this is for a Honda Civic 2.2 ES diesel. This particular car is registered LB61 TKT, and mileage at the start of this road test is 73,524 miles. The reason for doing these videos is very simple. Uh, we want customers who are actually looking at this very car in an advert online to get to see that car in operation. Um, 
it gives us opportunity to let you know about the car but more importantly let you know of any issues that might be about the car on the car rather before you come and see us uh, we know to our cost just how frustrating it can be to go on hours trips to go and see cars told they're good only to find when you get there there's a fundamental problem with the car which you clearly should have been told about so hence that's why we do it so it is critical in that sense um, road test is also done on these lovely quiet country roads very close to our premises so hopefully be representative of what you'd feel if you were off to test drive on the car so coming to the car itself um, it's been a very well maintained car um, and it feels like it because it just feels incredibly tight throughout the whole vehicle um, engine as with all these DTEC engines starts absolutely instantly it settles to a completely smooth even idle without any fluctuations at all um, no warning lights on the dashboard at all apart from as is just pinged on there the low fuel light for the vehicle but apart from that absolutely nothing at all temperature gauge running at a third at maximum operating temperature which is exactly where it should be on a Honda car whether it be a diesel or petrol in fact um, well that's really only half the story with these engines because they're just such lovely engines to drive quite often turbo diesels um, the power delivery can give you kind of nothing to begin with and a great surge of power and then nothing else after that they just drop off a cliff these have got a lovely linear power delivery that spreads its power through a nice wide uh, rev band so you don't get these peaks and troughs in power um, it's and it also does it so smoothly and so refined um, literally apart from only probably first gear you'd swear blind you're driving a petrol car they're so so um, refined in operation um, and obviously hugely economical as well I've had many of these cars if you drive them like a hooligan you can eat into the fuel as any car if you drive them with any kind of um, sensitivity you know over 60 to the gallon is actually readily and easily achieved Engine then feeds through clutch and into gearbox. Clutch on the car, absolutely perfect. Smooth, silence and operation. Bite point is exactly where it should be on the pedal travel as well. So all good there. Gearbox, and again, I've made the point on many of my previous videos on this generation Civic, is it's just a real class act. Because um, Honda, like all manufacturers who use front wheel drive these days, or most of them, use cables from the gear lever here to the gearbox under the um, engine bay. Uh, but unfortunately with some cars that means you get you know perfectly adequate gear change but they can be lifeless vague notchy all those kinds of things and this is the polar opposite of those because it is just got, it's got a real feel of engineering integrity to it it's got a lovely slick precise action to it you'd feel as though you're going straight into a gearbox not to you know a gearbox sort of three or four feet away um and but they've given it you know an actuation that feels machined it's just brilliant and there's nowhere in this at all steering on the car on this generation civic lovely weighting on the steering wheel um very precise in operation very accurate matched and matches the chassis absolutely perfectly by the way exactly the right steering ratio to the uh, what you want um, it also tracks absolutely bullet straight there's no vibrations at all that come back through the steering wheel at this speed or any speed up the legal limit I'll talk about the chassis in a minute but I'm going to give the brakes a bit of a shove now just let leave it a little bit later than I should and they're really good but again what I'm looking for the brakes by the way is just the obvious stuff which is when you hit the brake pedal a they should be powerful b it should pull the car down um, up straight not veering violently left or right um, and also there shouldn't be any pulsing or vibrations coming back through the brake pedal and there's nothing on this car at all they're all in very very good order coming back to the chassis of the car what i'm looking for on these road tests is you know when you hit a bump in a car you'll hear it hitting a bump no matter how refined the car is but you shouldn't get any kind of secondary noises coming back up through any kind of tra chattering or mechanical knocks at all and there's nothing on this car most of those things by the way are quite innocent they're normally just little um, drop links chattering away but this is absolutely silent in that respect and it is a fantastic chassis it rewards those who you know enthusiastic drivers with a really um well controlled you know go through corners like this hardly any body angle uh, lean rather 
maintains his composure absolutely brilliantly, even with sort of mid-corner bumps. Um, but what it does better than the previous generation, by a long way, by the way, is its um, absorption of the sort of the, the sharper bumps on the road. Because this is a very, very, very comfortable car to drive around and as comfortable as anything in its class, in my personal opinion. I think it's a, they've done a, just a brilliant, brilliant job on it. They really have. Um, just checking cruise control. It's all perfect again. Um, looking around inside the car, in really, really very good condition in here. And what a fantastic dashboard they are. Um, I've always loved the architecture of this dashboard from the previous generation, where you got the kind of the two-tier design with information up high and low. The information they put up high, by the way, is the stuff you want to look up more um, commonly, obviously, or more regularly, rather. Um, and that'll be, you've got your information display and radio display up there on the top left, all really legible. Press the information and menu buttons, and you can scroll through different things. But it hardly have to take your eyes off the road to take that information in. But the best one, of course, is the Speedo, which up there, which is absolutely brilliant. It really is. Um, it just means you can look at cars coming towards you, or cyclists, or pedestrians, um, but not. And but if you need to look at your speed at the same time, you don't have to take your eyes off the road. Just so clever. Either side of that, you can probably whether you can see on the camera or not. You got these two little icons, which sort of glow green or blue. Because I'm in Econo mode now, so I put my foot down harder. They've changed to blue. Back off, and they kind of gently go back to green. It's promoting. Um, more economical driving style it's very very effective actually um, in, in daily use because you just see it con constantly so you know oh it's blue I, you know I'm, I might be in the wrong gear or something um, down below that more uh, conventional pod of three dials rev counter in the middle big and dominating flanked by your fuel gauge and temperature gauge there steering wheel looks and feels pretty much as new in hand obviously it's multi-function so you've got your information display on the left hand side cruise control on the right and hands-free functions down on the uh, bottom left there um, but it all works absolutely beautifully air conditioning pumps out absolutely ice cold air that's all being checked but the car's superb it really really is um, and as I alluded to at the start of the video the point of it being that we pick up on any issues for you rarely are there any but occasionally there are and there's nothing on this car at all um, worth pointing out that I've got no excuses for you because you know, I used to spend my years working for the local Honda dealership in Bristol, as did my business partner Tony. So you know, we know our Hondas very, very well. So if there's something wasn't right about them, we do know. And this car is a simply lovely example of a, you know, a, a great, great family car. Um, having said that, if I've missed something on the video, as always, please don't hesitate. Do give us a call.